Hey, welcome back to my new video. Guys, this is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sam Effects YouTube channel. And this is how I need to flash to Nusantara project latest version for this Poco X. As you can see, I have here like Poco X3 device, and we'll go into recovery. This like project experience or something like that. As you can see, this is experience. Here you will get advanced restart button. That press that and go to the recovery. I am using here TWRP recovery latest one. As you can see, we are booted into the recovery, and this is the latest version of TWRP. And select here wipe, and select advanced wipe, and wipe this three section Dalvik catch and data, and swipe to wipe here. And again, select this one, and select the storage here. Select the micro SD, and check for the latest firmware. I am using here 12.5.4. This one global flash it it take a little bit of time and it will get flashed as you can see once it get flashed use the rom zip file as you can see this is a nusantara 4.0.1 based on Android g apps version this will take a little bit of time like two to three minutes once it get flashed as you can see the Nusantara project ROM is flash. Let's go into wipe again and select the format data and type YES and press this tick button and again go to reboot and tap on system. That's all it will be get booted into Nusantara project 4.1.2, the latest version for this Poco X with Android 12 with latest security patch. Let's see how is the performance and uh, as the BGMA gameplay and CPU throttling test, everything will be seen in this video. Stay tuned till the end of the video, and if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. For some reason, it booted into recovery again. Let's redo the same things. Dialog capture data. Okay, and then risk part it here, possible solutions. As reason enable file crypto file. Okay. Now can go into install and select storage micro SD card. Okay. Select the download and let me try with this 12.5.3 firmware. Again, select the install and select the storage. It's already there. No Santara 4.0.1 and flash it. Flashing No Santara project system files. Now, again, go into wipe. Sorry, yeah, wipe and format data. Yes, and type S. And reboot the system let's see whether it will get solid or not no again it's stuck in boot loop we again come back to TWRP recovery so let's see where I am going to make mistake okay guys there is a problem like flashing this ROM I will try with another method let's select the wipe and select advanced wipe now clear these things and swipe to wipe it's done now again go to install and select storage and select SD card okay and use this Nusantara flash it as you can see once this is done let's go into again wipe and select format data yes and select this these things are over now 
you need to select reboot and come to recovery now follow the same steps no means you will face the same problem like boot loop and you will never get into the rom no santara project there is something to do in this recovery you can select this advanced and select this convert rom into rewritable rw flash is this it takes a little bit of time wait for it okay it has been done successfully again go here and again select reboot to recovery follow these steps in order to get properly flashed of this nusantara project it's a little bit difficult why they made it difficult i don't understand and again go to select here install and select the micro sd card okay and flash this and disable dm verify force encryption select this and flash it also takes a little bit of time okay as you can see it has been done now again go to reboot and system finally it should boot let's see In the next video, I will show you the gaming review and all the features on this room. As of now, I will be just showing this flashing method because most of the people might not get to flash this room. So I hope you guys understand this and watch this video and I will be making this review of the ROM tomorrow itself. Let's see once it get boot into the Nusantara project. Finally, the ROM has booted into Nusantara project. It took a little bit of time and also the uh, flashing process is time taking. So, watch the video properly and flash it properly in order to 
get properly flashed and let's see what all the features will be there everything will be i'll be testing out with 24 hours and i'll be making the review for tomorrow thank you for watching this we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now